Okay, this is going to be step seven. I will do as you do, campaigns, right click, copy, create a copy. Again, we're gonna move it to the end because this for me is just a, an extra special step. Again, click through these and accept them. So here we go, campaigns, and this is going to be filter with total row. Please name the worksheet accordingly. What we're going to do is first insert a slicer for the total row. I'm sorry, a slicer for the type. And again, in case you missed it, it is in on the insert tab. Slicers over here. Type. Say OK. We have a slicer. As you will see later in the directions, they want you to move it up here to the top. Woo. Even with the chart. Um, this is for headings, etc. You guys should know that by now. We're going to unclick Pinterest and Twitter. We just really want Facebook according to the directions. They want us to get rid of this white space, which is, again, a professional thing we should be doing automatically. Nobody wants a bunch of blank, purposeless white space. So here we go. Those were actually steps five and six. Now we're going to do step seven, which some of you are struggling with. You want to insert a total row. The way you insert a total row, click on any cell in the table, go to Table Tools, click on Total Row. So you'll see that you have a total. Now we need to change the total because we want to average it. The way we do that is pull down right here and say average. It's that simple. I know everybody's trying to make it harder. Change this to say I just typed it in myself. Caps lock average is what I wrote. And then I didn't have to deal with it. But the function is right here. Pull down, average, done. Save and close. Thank you.